Welcome back to another MLB The Show 21 video, Kleshka Crew. Today we are adding a player to the Mets until they win the World Series. It's not always about the money, Spider-Man. It's about the Mets, baby. Love the Mets. All right, baby, let's go get a home run, baby. Love the Mets. Let's go Mets. We've already done this with a few teams, so if you haven't seen those ones, go check it out. I love this series. It's very fun, and it always has a surprise, and I love seeing what players get added to the team. So let's go to my favorite thing, the wheel of MLB teams. Here it is. Let's spin it. Let's see who we get. What team are we getting a player from? It's going to be the Rays. It just barely ticked over. Spin the wheel of positions and it will tell us that we get a player that plays the right field for the Rays. That would be Randy Arozarena. Okay, I thought he was left field, but I'll take Randy. Let's send him to the All-Star break and find out how this team is doing. 54 and 36 at the All-Star break, tied with the Braves for first place. I don't know how this keeps happening in this series recently, but we keep getting the player we traded for injured. Randy Arozarena has been injured twice in this season. That's ridiculous, man. Come on. We've made it to the end of the first season. Let's look at all the stats first for some of our players. Starting with Randy Rosarena. Like I said, he was injured twice in this season. He had five home runs, 39 RBIs, and a 283 batting average. Some new additions that the Mets added in the real offseason. Starling Marte had 16 home runs, 80 RBIs, and batted 302. Eduardo Escobar, 17 home runs, 70 RBIs, and batted 266. And the big Big piece, Max Scherzer, 15 and 5, 183 strikeouts, and a 2.38 ERA. And yes, we did make playoffs against the Padres in the wild card. Winner takes all, moves on to face the Dodgers. Breathe in, relax, and hope for a win. We have the right guy on the mound for a wild card game. That's Jacob DeGrom, and I'm just going half inning at a time. And did we just score the. Uh, yeah, we did. I wasn't sure. It was the bottom of the lineup that produced for us. Let's do this. Let's go all the way to the seventh. All right. It's Padres, they go down one, two, three. Beautiful. We did not get anything out of that inning. Oh, we got another run on the board from the bottom of the lineup once again. Will the bottom of the lineup come through again? No, they could not. Are the Padres going to show any fight? Will they get on the board? It has been a tough go for them so far, and they did not get anything that time. We have top nine right now, Lindor. Oh, there's a pitching change. Lindor singles. Mark Canna double play. Nito gets out. Okay, we're just three outs away from moving on. Jacob DeGrom still in the game with a shutout. Only three hits allowed. Manny Machado. Oh, pitching change. Dylan Patanz is now in. Walks. Will Myers hit by pitch. Oh, no. Eric Hosmer. Oh, pinch runner. Oh, they are being strategic. Let's see what happens with Hosmer. Ground out. Moved him to second and third. Jake Marisnik Singles. One run came in. Jorge Alfaro. Singles. The game's tied. Dellen Batantis just ruined Jacob DeGrom's performance. Another pitching change. Pinch hitter is Jerksik and Profar. He struck out. Jake Cronenworth strikes out. We have a tied game now. Okay, who's leading off for us? I'm sure we're pinch hitting. Dominic Smith took a walk. Then we have a pinch runner, Eduardo Escobar. Luis Guillorme strikes out. A Rosarena, come on, strikes out. Are you serious? Starling Marte singles. Pete Alonso walks. Bases loaded. J.D. Davis flies out. Oh, no, this is not looking good. Trent Grisham grounds out. Tatis singles. Kim. Oh, Tatis stole a base. Kim. Oh, Tatis. Tatis got caught stealing. Oh, my God. And then we got the final out, Lindor. Let's see what he does. He strikes out. Fly out by Marcana. Thomas Nito flew out as well. Will Myers. Oh, my goodness. Pops up. Hosmer flies out. Mariznik strikes out. We are still alive. Oh, Jeff McNeil doubles. That's a good start. Double to score a run by Luis Guillorme. And Randy Orozarena grounds out. It's a walk for Marte. A walk for Pete Alonso. And you know what? Let's go into the game. Base is loaded for J.D. Davis. He has a 2-2 count. What happens here? He's going to deposit into the outfield and get those insurance runs. That's two coming in. I think we can assume we are going to lock this up. Lindor singles. That's another run. Fly out and strike out. Now we just need three outs to win this wild card game. Ground out. 
And we get a pop-up. Jake Cronenworth could be the last batter. The pitch to Jake Cronenworth is smoked through the hole. They're still alive. Trent Grisham will hit it on the ground. That'll be the final out, and we win the wild card. Now we play the Dodgers. Game one. Oh, hold on. Got to get through all these notifications. We lost five to one. This is going to be the team that's going to be tough to beat. We lose game two. Game three, we win. We're not dead yet. Game four, we lost. Oh, my God. We're down. Oh, it was only... It was only three games that they had to win. I forgot it was the NLDS. Well, you know what that means. Back to the wheel for the next season. The Reds won the World Series. Okay. We need a superstar, an all-star, to help us get over the hump and beat the Dodgers. And it's going to be somebody from Houston. Now, they got a player like that, but, you know, it's just a bad taste in my mouth. It's going to be... Is it going to be Bregman? I think it's Bregman, folks. Alex Bregman in a Mets uniform. How does that make you feel? You know the drill, send to the all-star break and see how things are going. 53 and 36 is good for first place in the NL East by three games in front of the Braves. We finished the season 95 and 67 first place ahead of the Marlins by seven games. So that will get us a playoff spot. But let's go look at the season our players had that we have added. Alex Bregman must have suffered an injury along the way. He had 16 home runs, 47 RBIs, and had a 290 batting average. Randy Arozarena had 20 home runs, 69 RBIs, and a 243 batting average. We are taking on the Brewers in round one. Jacob DeGrom versus Corbin Burns in game one. The winner is is the Mets two to one it would be low scoring with those two on the mound game two we lose game three we win game two or four my bad we win and we move on to the CS which is not decided yet it's going to be the Padres I can see their logo okay here we go game one against the Padres we lose game two we lose Game three, we lose. Oh, no. Oh, my God. In the pouring rain, we are down 3-0 in the NLCS. The Padres strike first. No. Triple scores another run for the Padres. Oh, man. This is not looking good. Do we have a comeback in us? We got one run back. Okay, three-run homer by Luis Guillorme. We have the lead. Will Myers pinch hitting top nine. Hits a single. Trent Grisham walks. Oh, no, Edwin Diaz. Jake Cronenworth singles. Edwin, bases loaded, no outs, my guy. Are you serious? Facing Manny Machado. Edwin Diaz was the pitcher that blew it when we did Angels until they win the World Series. And he gets a strike right there to start off Machado. But now we're on the side where we don't want Edwin Diaz to blow it. And I feel like he's going to do just that. Oh, that was a mighty hack. Pitch to Machado. Oh, that smoked. And it's looking like we're going to have a tie game. Machado up the middle ties it up and Edwin Diaz is out of the game right away for Joey Lucchesi brought in a lefty to face Fernando Tatis Jr. and that's exactly what happens the Mets oh blew it they blew it and now the Padres have the lead let's just get this over with rip off the band-aid double play and now we are up to bat down by one let's see fly out single for Eduardo Escobar double play that's our playoff hopes over. That feels like a very Mets thing to happen. And let's see who wins the World Series. The Athletics play the Padres and the Padres win. All right, on to the next season. Back to the wheel. We need another talent like Bregman. That'll make it almost impossible for us to lose. And we got the Padres. Can we get Tatis? Will it be Tatis? My fingers are crossed. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. It is Fernando Tatis. Oh, my God. If we don't win, then the Mets are just cursed. Fernando Tatis Jr. in a Mets uniform. Not going to lie, looks pretty snazzy. I am in absolute fear just by looking at this lineup right now. Starling Marte, Randy Arozarena, Fernando Tatis Jr., Pete Alonso, Alex Bregman, Francisco Lindor. That one through six is dangerous. It has to be locked up for how criminally crazy it is. If this team does not win the World Series, if they're not in first place at the All-Star break, I don't know what to tell you. They are nine games back of the Braves in second place, only positive by eight. Are you serious? They at least better make playoffs. Mm, it's the end of the season. 
We finished in second with a record of 87 and 75. I really hope that's good enough to get wild card. We will look at that right after we look at the stats for all of our trades from this season. Alex Bregman had 10 home runs on the year, 48 RBIs, and batted 270. I don't think they're putting him in the lineup every game. Meanwhile, we have Randy Arozarena who had 611 at-bats with 20 home runs, 88 RBIs, and a 283 batting average. And the superstar we just got from the most recent trade, Fernando Tatis Jr. had 46 home runs, 113 RBIs, and a 274 batting average. I feel like that might be good enough for MVP. Wow, he was beat out by Bryce Harper. Just like he was beat out by Bryce Harper in the real life NL MVP race. I'm not paying as much attention to the players that were already on the Mets before we did all these trades, but there's the stats for Pete Alonso 22 homers, 73 RBIs, 278 batting average. And then we can look at Lindor as well 24 home runs, 78 RBIs, 242 batting average. Starling Marte, 23 home runs, 98 RBIs, and 307 average. Mark Canna, I have not looked at him at all in this video, but they did pick him up in the real life offseason 19 home runs, 60 RBIs, and a 277 batting average average and Eduardo Escobar doesn't really get much playing time but six home runs 18 RBIs and a 225 batting average now let's find out if we made wild card please tell me we did yes we claim the second spot somehow the Rockies are just absolutely insane here is the playoff layout for this year hopefully we can move on play the Dodgers and get over that hump fast forward like I usually do let's go to the fifth Mo, oh leadoff doubles Marte and Rosarena back to back love it Hopefully we get a lot of home runs with our tremendous lineup here in Colorado. We got so much talent in that lineup that I don't see how they fail. Come on. Oh, no, we didn't get any runs out of that. It looked like we were going to for sure in that inning. Come on, fellas. Come on. And, uh, yeah, oh, oh, okay. We're, we reached the simming point that I set. Let's go to the ninth. All right. We don't get anything out of that inning. Hopefully the Rockies, okay, they didn't get anything out of that inning there. Oh, no. Come on. We need insurance. Jacob DeGrom is good, but I really want to get more runs on the board for him. Our lineup is just going down one batter at a time. Come on. Top nine. Only one run has been scored, and that was in the first inning. Mark Hanna, round out, fly out. What happens here? Another ground out. Okay, three outs, and we win this wild card game. Come on, Edwin Diaz on the mound. Oh, man, the king of blowing the game. Rymel Tapia, strikeout. Good start. CJ Crone, strikeout. Brendan Rodgers, let's go take a look. Edwin Diaz, please do not pull a classic Mets. Third out, third out, third out, third out, third out. It's on the ground. Pete Alonso has it, and he steps on the bag. We win the wild card. Game one against the Dodgers. Come on, we got to take this. No, three, two, we lose win this one okay we destroyed in that one game three okay we're ahead in the series we win this game we move on but a tough challenge with walker bueller on the mound and it's raining in queens new york to make it an epic setting last chance bregman see what happens ground out strike out and i don't think we should go in game because i probably know what's gonna happen fly out We've been eliminated. The Dodgers won the World Series. Twice in this video, the team that beat us won the World Series. Bless us with an arm. That's what we need, honestly. We almost got angels. Okay, Reds. I would take Luis Castillo from the Reds. He's a pretty good arm. Let's see. Oh, come on. Come on. No. Oh, okay, well, relief pitching. It's still pitching, okay? And honestly, the Mets could use it because our highest overall is 82. And we're getting Lucas Sims, who's an 85. Let's trade away somebody down here, Carlos Santana, because there's a better Carlos Santana that exists out there. I'll see you at the All-Star break. This is better. 54 and 36 in first place to the end of the season now. Much better season puts it together by the Mets this time 97 and 65 that gets us first place in the NL East let's go look at the seasons our trades had let's start with Fernando Tatis Jr. this time 40 home runs 100 RBIs and a 289 batting average this is the bat that is consistent for us in this lineup Alex Bregman I did figure out the computer only puts him in against left-handed pitchers so that's why his stats are a little bit lower seven home runs 19 RBIs and a 238 batting average Randy Arozarena 20 
21 home runs, 71 RBIs, and a 232 batting average. Lucas Sims in 30 innings went 1 and 3, had 33 strikeouts and a 6 ERA. Not quite the bullpen arm we wanted. We get to face the wild card winner, and that will be the Rockies, a rematch of the wild card from last year. We win game one, three to one. Do we win game two? Yes, we do. All we gotta do is win one more, and we sweat the Rockies. Beautiful. Brewers take game one in the CS against us. Game two, we lose. Game three, we win. Okay. Game four, yes, we win, we tie it up. Jacob DeGrom on the mound for game five and we win that one too. We destroyed in that one. One more game and we go to the World Series but it's against Corbin Burns. Oh my God, and my Angels are on the other side down three to two just like us. Sorry, we're up three to two but the Angels are down three to two. I'm gonna take it slow, man. Let's just sim to the fourth right here. Hopefully nothing bad early in the game. Okay, two singles in the first. Not the best start. Come on, one run, one run, please. Oh no, now it's two, now it's three. Why'd I open my big mouth? Why? Top eight, walk, single. Oh, it's just getting worse. It's four to zero now, and it's probably gonna get worse. Double, six zero, seven zero. It just doesn't stop. Why'd I even start talking, man? Okay, we're not gonna win it here. It's gonna go to game seven. Oh no. I knew facing Corbin Burns was gonna be tough. Let's see what happens here in game seven. We'll sim to four innings, okay? We'll sim straight through four. See what goes on. And we got on the board first. Okay. But they're trying to strike, and they could not. Rosarena. Oh, bottom of the lineup. Producing. Bases loaded. Oh, we walked in a run, and then we singled in a few more. We're up four to zero through four innings. Oh, bases loaded. Yes, another run. Oh, my God. Okay, they didn't score. Okay, Tatis double, and we make nothing of it. One strike away. Do we get the strikeout? Yes, we do! We're going to the World Series, finally! And it's gonna be a Subway World Series. Of course it is. Game one, come on. Yes, we win two to one. Garrett Cole in game two, this will be a huge win, and we won. Come on, game three, yes! Oh my god, we're up three to zero if we blow this. Let's do the first five innings. Okay, we go one, two, three right away. I don't like that. Jason Dominguez is in the majors. Oh, JD Davis with a home run. Okay, we're on the board. Oh, the Yankees got on the board. I, I don't know when that happened. <laughs> oh no, oh no, the Yankees bats are... No, Luke Voigt drives in a run. Stop, please stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, good. Single, double, a run scored. That was a Rosarena with the RBI. Beautiful. We have Marte, top of the lineup. Let's see, double, lead off double. Come on, this is the lineup. It's right here. This is the meat of the lineup. Lindor, double, scores a run. Beautiful. Tatis, pitching change, walk. First and second, Dominic Smith strikes out. J.D. Davis strikes out. Pete Alonso singles. Base is loaded for Alex Bregman. Hit by pitch. Oh my God, we have a two run lead. And now Randy Rosarena singles. Oh my God, the lineup. It's finally, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Oh, a double by Joey Gallo. Oh no, another double by Luke Voigt. Scores a run, pop up error. Oh, strikeout. Starling Marte grounds out. A walk for Lindor and a double play for Tatis. This is it. Urshela grounds out. Jason Dominguez singles. I'm going in the game just in case it's a double play. Come on, double play. Oh, he just threw it right down the middle. He challenged him to hit that one. Oh, and he challenged him to hit that one too. Foul ball, 2-2 two -two count. Here's a pitch and it's a full count. Why do I feel like Edwin Diaz always ends up in these situations? The full count pitch is a strikeout on DJ LeMahieu. What out of way. And it'll be the big bad Aaron Judge. Strikeout Aaron Judge to win the Subway World Series. Oh, it's on the ground and it's through. Tatis can't get there. And they send him three. I just realized that. Oh my God. And he's going two. This is the end of the World Series. Oh my God. Aaron Judge with the biggest bonehead mistake of his life. Oh no. <laughs> we win the World Series. We did it. We swept the Yankees. And I, wow, what a way to end the game. I can't believe he went for that. Tatis and Rosarena all having fun jumping. They just won the World Series. That has to be one of the craziest ways to end it. I cannot believe it. I am still in shock. If you made it to the end of this video, I want you to comment Aaron Judge wins Punisher Award. That would definitely win a Punisher Award. 100%. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically a Punisher Award is the 
dumbest, stupidest mistake in a season, and that was Aaron Judge right there. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. We're so close to 200K, and I would really appreciate it if we can get there before the new year. Tell everybody you know to subscribe that is not subscribed. I got this, you got this, we all got this, and I will see you next time. <laughs>